Hi everyone! Hope everybody is doing great and today we're going to talk about the free radicals. Everyone is talking about aging, oxidation pro uh, process in your body, free radicals, but what really free radicals are? You're not supposed to be a chemist or, or really remember chemistry well to understand that. And I did a um, little funny drawing for you guys so we could uh, really see uh, what, uh, and what free radicals are. Just to, uh, to remind you, um, the person, every person, each one of us contains all the atoms, right? Atom contain, contains all the nucleus, the uh, neutrons, the electrons, and the protons. We are going to be interested in the electrons only because they are involved in the, chemi in the chemical reactions and they are the substance that bonds atoms together to form a molecular. That's how easy it is. So electrons on the outer shell of the level, this is what we're going to be interested in mostly right now. So this is a healthy, stable atom with a nucleus inside, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in these two. This is a paired electron, which means that this atom is healthy and stable and everything is going well in the cell of your body, which contains this kind of atoms, right? What happens is, is that a free radical appears in your body. It means that the stable atom loses one electron, right? And it becomes impaired electron. Impaired atom, I'm sorry. So the outer shell doesn't contain two atoms anymore. It contains only one. And that's bad. Why? Because the free radical is becomes very unstable and it reacts quickly with the other compounds and uh, because it's trying somehow to um, gain the lost electron from the other atoms. Let's say that's what it really does. It gets the atom from the healthy, from the healthy atom, like this, right? And this one becomes without one electron, which is really bad. Why? Because it becomes a free radical itself. It's not an impaired, it doesn't have impaired electrons anymore. This promotes a chain reaction, which as a result can either damage or even kill the cell. And that's pretty bad, right? So, but not everything, not everything is really that bad because we have antioxidant here, which is uh, really fighting for us every time for the health of our cells because it gives his electron to the uh, free radical, but it doesn't become a free radical itself. So it's actually saving the cell from the damage or just uh, uh, from being killed, which in general saves our body and prevents our body from having any a variety of diseases including cancer and heart disease and of course aging is on that list as well so antioxidant can really supply the free radical um, with the electron can repl can replace it um, the missing electron really easy right so important things for you guys to know is why actually this free radical all of a sudden appears in our body. First of all, um, it is supposed to be a natural process because the free radical um, helps our body to fight the bacteria and viruses, but unfortunately our um, um, nowadays life and the diet that we have promotes additional factors for it to appear uh, in our body and of course the aging um, is one of the reasons for that because um, people with age they lose a lot of um, like natural powers of the body which which help the body to fight the free radicals and other uh, different issues in the body so but one of the most important least for you guys to know is is that what causes the free radical is smoking the alcohol sunlight pollution, pesticides that we uh, have in, uh, in our food, food by itself, and, and uh, uh, also drinking um, chlorinated water, medications, and uh, airborne emissions, and a lot of cleansers, so chemicals that we use in our everyday life. So these actually, and of course stress. Yeah, one of, not the least important one is stress. So, but, Antioxidants, where do we get them from? Really, um, when, when our body is born, we have some kind of antioxidants, but uh, not like the 
not like the vitamins and, and nutrients, but our body has an opportunity to really protect itself. So we can help it out adding the antioxidants in our diet and it's very important because your body cannot manufacture them uh, these micronutrients we and they must be supplied in the diet so one of the vitamins one of the antioxidants is a vitamin a is a vitamin is a t alpha tocopherol is a fat soluble vitamin which means that all the products containing it uh, is better to eat with it with the oil let's say if you eat a carrot pour a little vegetable or coconut oil on top of it and uh, it will be really absorbed by, the, by you, your body better you can also find vitamin a in nuts seeds uh, vegetables whole grains especially wheat germ and apricots also, um, the a persecutor to vitamin A, the retinol, is beta carotene, which you actually can find in the animal uh, products like liver, egg yolk, butter, and milk. You can also find it in broccoli, spinach, squash, uh, cantaloupe, tomato, grains, yums, and of course carrots. And um, I guess I mentioned squash as well. So another uh, vitamin, another antioxidants will be uh, will be vitamin C. It's a water soluble vitamin. You can easily get an access to it drinking um, citrus juices or eating citrus fruits. Also, um, it uh, you can find it in the green vegetables like green peppers, kale, uh, broccoli, cabbage. Also, fruits like kiwi or strawberry and a cantaloupe as well. So I'm going to add to that list uh, also the selenium. It's a very important antioxidant as well. You can easily get an access to just eating one brazil nut a day. It will um, give you a daily amount of uh, recommended daily amount of selenium. And um, here you go. Uh, but I will recommend you not to get involved with the supplements too much because most of the vitamins on the market right now are synthetic, which um, was proved to be not healthy at all and it actually very bad for your body and for the environment as well. So the main uh, aim you, for you guys to do is prevent the factors which cause the free radicals so if you can stop smoking if you can quit smoking please do if you can reduce the amount of alcohol you take please do if you um if you feel like the the stressful situations you are in makes you be very anxious and you can avoid it that will be just great if you can minimize the amount of chemicals and pesticides in your in your life that will be amazing as well so basically all these things your balanced diet and of course the exercise will really do the job instead of just taking the synthetic vitamins and thinking that you're controlling this process so you better take care of your body and your life from the very beginning preventing the uh, the occurrence of free radicals in your body so i hope this information was helpful to you if of course you want to uh, look really deeper in this topic you can find all kind of information uh, on the internet so but i just really would love you to start thinking about your body get something do something good and healthy for yourself start loving yourself because it's never too late to uh, become healthy or at least to support your already existing health because it's one of the most important things that each one of us must do.